Hi guys. So today we'll discuss about the cystosomes, and uh, as you know, the cystosomes are what uh, I will just tell you in a brief uh, regarding them first. So cystosomes are what these fellows are uh, trematodes. You know that. Okay, these are trematodes, and trematodes another name is what guys? They are also termed as what flukes. So trematodes or flukes, they are termed as uh, these fellows. And cystosomes they go in uh, somewhat exception to the general rule of trematodes. And what are those exceptions? These particular fellows are uh, dioecious. Okay, first thing, they have a separate male and female. Another one, another thing for them is that you need to remember is infective form. The infective form for the cystosomes is cercaria. Okay, that is the infective form for that cercaria, cercaria also they call it. Okay, the so infective form for this particular one is this. They are dioecious. Besides this. You need to remember that uh, they have only a single intermediate host. Okay, only one intermediate host is there. Which one? That is the snail. Snail is the intermediate host here. They are dioecious. They have an infective form. What? Cercaria. And this particular uh, like intermediate host is only one. That is the snail. Okay. So these are the important like entities of these particular cystosomes. And the disease they cause is cystosomiasis, which is also termed as, which can come in exam, that is termed as bilharziasis. And guys, it have already come, and uh, the typical language of the question can be like a Brazilian farmer. So it's a South American disease. Uh, presents to the medical clinic with hepatosplenomegaly, and this was a question in Ames with ascitic fluid in the peritoneal cavity. His liver is studied with white granulomas. So white granulomas is seen in the infection of what cystosomes. Okay, now which particular cystosomes? Because uh, in this particular question, you are seeing up all the options they are having, all these uh, trematodes only, and of them, three fellows are there which are belonging to the cystosomes. So how to catch up that particular point? That which is the answer? Which of the following organism is endemic in Africa? And South or Central America, which is uh, like uh, in that question, Brazilian one, and it is transmitted by skin penetration. So what penetrates up that particular cercaria? Okay, and having a particular egg with a large lateral spine. This is important word. This is what you need to remember here. Resulting in what dermatitis and Katayama fever. These two names. Obviously, what is Katayama fever? A serum sickness-like syndrome with fever, lymph endopathy, and hepatosplenomegaly. Okay, guys. Now, what is the answer of it? Is it chlorichthyosinensis? Is it cystosoma hematobium? It is Japanicum or Mansoni. The answer to this question is Mansoni. Why? Because Mansoni is having a lateral spine, which is the hint here. Okay, but two important aspects you need to remember here that it leads to this uh, dermatitis, which is also termed as cercaria dermatitis. And it also leads to a fever termed as what Katayama fever, okay, which is actually what serum sickness like syndrome. Okay, guys. Now this picture is very very important. Definitely a question is coming out of it. Mansoni lateral spine, hematobium terminal spine. Japanicum is having what a lateral knob, which is not observed in this particular picture. So lateral knob means a rudimentary spine, okay, rudimentary spine or lateral knob. Now. I would uh, like to tell you some more important points uh, regarding the these particular fellows. Okay. Now, as uh, you can see up in the options, there were uh, like chlorichae sinensis also in the option. So those particular fellows, uh, you should know what are the features of them also, what they can cause. Up. Okay. So mainly this chlorichae sinensis leads to what upper abdominal pain. And it can cause this blurry tract fibrosis. You know, na guys, the chlorichae sinus is also termed as a Chinese liver fluke or Oriental liver fluke, and it leads to a particular type of uh, carcinoma, also termed as what cholangiocarcinoma, and which is a famous question of uh, like uh, surgery that uh, which particular worm leads to this cholangiocarcinoma, bile duct carcinoma. It can also lead to blurry tract fibrosis. This chlorichae is one. Okay. This is also what this is also a trematode fluke, but different from the cystosomes for sure. Then another important fluke is paragonimus westermanni, which leads to this particular disease that is known as paragonimiasis, which is characterized by what cough, often bloody sputum and pneumonia. Another all India question of yesteryears. Okay, 
So paragonal vestibular which is also termed as lung fluke associates with eating of what the crab and all okay crab or even the fish okay this particular thing is being eaten up here and it can leads to this cough that is with bloody sputum and pneumonia that is this particular disease caused by this paragonal vestibular which is also termed as what lung fluke and guys this was also asked in one of the fmg exam that what is the drug of choice for all these trematodes the answer is praziquantel praziquantel is a drug of choice for most of the flukes and flukes another name is what trematodes okay guys so these all things you need to remember but if they are talking about what if they are talking about uh, these all features which i just seen a hepatosplenomegaly the, the, the liver granulomas serum sickness like features and all that so they are talking about what sister zones which is also termed as what bill har gss now i'll tell you in short something about these fellows cystosoma hematobium okay this particular fellow hematobium you know this is having the eggs is having what a terminal spine okay and this hematobium leads to like uh, two types of uh, carcinomas one is squamous cell carcinoma of uh, urinary bladder okay or transitional cell carcinoma of urinary bladder obviously squamous cell more than the transitional cell okay one thing and where this particular fellow hematobium loves to reside it loves to reside in the vesical plexus it resides up there it resides up in the vesical plexus and leads to what squamous cell carcinoma urinary bladder or transitional cell carcinoma obviously squamous cell more than the transitional okay and it leads to a unique entity termed as what terminal hematuria okay it leads to a unique entity termed as what that is terminal hematuria okay so this also you need to remember regarding the hematopia now the second important one which we'll see here is cystosoma mansoni just now which you discussed up and you know that this fellow resides where you remember from this eye that is it resides in the inferior mesenteric plexus it resides where it resides in the inferior mesenteric plexus and just now we have done that it leads to what it leads to a particular fever that is termed as katayama fever which is a serum sickness like syndrome other than that it leads to a cercarial dermatitis it leads to cercarial dermatitis fine which is uh, like itching and all which is also termed as swimmer's itch okay the another name for this particular thing is what it is also termed as swimmer's itch and what about the egg of this guys the answer is it is having a lateral spine okay besides this the important one is japanicum the cystosoma japanicum and cystosoma japanicum you remember like this the japan is a superior country so this fellow will reside where in the superior mesenteric plexus okay this will resides where in the superior mesenteric plexus and japanicum also leads to katayama fever so remember both of them they can leads to this so the other options they become important then so that's why the egg identification becomes important the egg of this particular one is what rudimentary spine other than that it leads to a unique type of diarrhea that is termed as eosinophilic diarrhea so this is uniqueness of it that the japanicum leads to a unique type of diarrhea which is termed as eosinophilic diarrhea so these are the various ones in short which you need to remember regarding these trematodes these flukes and cystosomes is the go in somewhat exception the <coughs> like infective form for them is cercaria for all others trematodes and metacercaria they are dioecious separate male and female otherwise uh, most of the trematodes what they are they are monoecious okay and if it we are talking about chloroecious and all then upper abdominal pain is there and regarding the lung fluke there will be a story of what cough with bloody sputum okay so all those things you need to remember and drug of choice for all the these particular fellows is what praziquantel and i hope uh, this short summary of trematodes will be helpful for you okay so and uh, the most important uh, here to remember is this particular picture mansoni lateral hematobium terminal japanicum lateral now this particular one comes in urine okay resides where this particular organism resides where in the vesical plexus mansoni you remember by this eye inferior mesenteric plexus and where it pass on in the stool and japanicum lateral knob where it pass on in the stool
okay so all these things you need to remember regarding these particular fellows thank you